Welcome again, wonderful Wildcats, to Wednesday, November 29th, Characteristics of Quadratics on page 36. If you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at the notes. All right, Characteristics of Quadratics on page 36. Let's start with f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This opens upwards with a vertex that's a minimum and an axis of symmetry is a vertical line through the vertex, okay? And then the domain is all real numbers. And really, we really need to write it as negative infinity to positive infinity. And then y is greater than or equal to the k value of the vertex. Now, when f of x equals negative 8x, ax squared plus bx minus c, the quadratic opens downward, and the vertex is a maximum. And the axis symmetry is a vertical line that cuts to the vertex. Again, domain is all our numbers, but we're going to write it as negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is y less than or equal to k. All right, now let's look at vertex form and standard form. All right, vertex form is y equals a parentheses x minus h squared plus k, where the vertex is hk. The axis of symmetry is x equals h. When the a value is positive, the direction is up, and the vertex is a minimum. When the a value is negative, the direction is down, and the vertex is a maximum. Now, in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where the vertex is h equals negative b divided by 2a, and k equals f parentheses negative b divided by 2a. And we're not going to have to worry about this. I'm going to explain how we can use the h value to find the k value, okay? The axis of symmetry is x equals h equals negative b divided by 2a. When the a value is positive, the direction is up, and the vertex is a minimum. When the a value is negative, the direction is down, and the vertex is a maximum. So if you would finish your notes. All right, now your notes are updated and finished. Let's look at the examples. Now, when going over the examples, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use yellow, green, and blue in that order, okay? So, the vertex, okay? In this case, is the minimum, and that is 1, 2. The axis of symmetry is x equals 1. The graph opens upward, and the y-intercept is zero two. Now it's a minimum, and we use the y value from the vertex, so y equals two. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is y greater than or equal to 2. All right, so now let's look at example 2. The vertex in this case is a maximum at 4, 9. The axis of symmetry. is x equals 4, and the graph opens downward, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 5. In this case, it's a maximum, and we use the y value from the vertex, so y equals 9. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is y less than or equal to 9. All right, so if you would finish up example 1 and 2. All right, let's look at example 3. All right, now we're looking at finding 
Whoa, what's that? That's a bell. Um, all right. So we're looking for the vertex in vertex form. So we know from our notes that it's minus h plus k. So that's where we're going to find our h and k values. So this is h. This is k. So our vertex is 1, comma, negative 3. We know the axis symmetry is the x value from the vertex, so x equals 1. We know the a value is positive, so it opens upwards. Now to find the y-intercept, we know when it's the y-intercept, x equals 0. So we're going to substitute x equals 0 and solve for y. So y equals 2, and see 0 minus 1 squared minus 3. Well, that's 0 minus 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 1. It's a minimum because it opens upwards. And we use the vertex 1, negative 3, but we use only the y value. So y equals negative 3. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is y greater than or equal to negative 3. Now, in example 4 and 5, we're looking at information when it's in standard form. Okay? So to find the vertex, we first find the h value, which is negative b divided by 2a. So h equals negative b, so that's negative 12 divided by 2 times negative 3. Well, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 12 divided by negative 6 is a positive 2. Now, what we can do is since we have the 8th value, we can plug that in for x to find the y, which is k value. Okay, so then that's y equals negative 3 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 10, which equals 2. So your vertex is 2, comma, 2. And we know the x value from the vertex is the axis of symmetry, so x equals 2. The a value is negative, so we know it opens downward. Now to find the y-intercept, we know x equals 0. So we substitute 0 in for x, so that's y equals negative 3 times 0 squared plus 12 times 0 minus 10. So 0, 0 minus 10, y equals negative 10. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 10. Since it opens downward, we know we have a maximum. And we use the y value from the vertex. So y equals 2. Our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And our range is y less than or equal to Now, at this point, what I would recommend doing is actually trying example five on your own. So pause the video, try example five, and then rewatch, and then continue the video when you've done it to check if you're correct. All right, assume after this point you've tried it. Now let's see if you're correct. So the vertex, we first know we find the h value, which is negative the b, so that's negative negative 18 divided by 2 times the a value, which is 1. That's a positive 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So now that we have the h value, plug in that to find the k value. So and we can write f of x as k equals 9 squared. And I could have actually done that. I probably should have done it here. k equals. Okay. So k equals 9 squared minus 18 times 9 plus 86. And that equals 5. So k equals 5. So your vertex is 9, comma, 5. We know the axis of symmetry is the x value in the axis of symmetry, so x equals 9. We know since the a value is positive 1, it opens upward. 
Now to find the y-step, we know x equals 0. So we substitute 0 in for x and solve for y. So y equals 0 squared minus 18 times 0 plus 86. So y equals 86. So your y-step is 0, 86. We know since it opens upwards that we have a minimum. And it's the minimum, it's the y value from the vertex, so y equals 5. So the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is y right equal to 5. Now at this point, you can either start working on the assignment or wait for me in class, and I can answer questions from the examples you have. So with that, as always, have a wonderful wildcat day that has... Lots of wildcat things happen to you, the wildcat student.